that loop there welcome welcome everyone this is data train and i'm neil hambley welcome to one of our live streams we have only recently just got on this channel so we're going to be kind of exploring how the streams are going to be going we're going to be live every day in august try and figure out how to do our live streams at 10 30 sorry 20 30 every day so that's 8 30 p.m british summertime so come along, come and join us. We'll be covering such uh, exams as the DA100, the AI100, the AI900 that we're going to cover today. We've got more content around that. There's a bunch of other Microsoft certifications like the DP100, DP200, 201, and the AZ ranges as well. We'll be covering those. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer. I'm a Power BI consultant, a data professional with over 20 years of experience. So I kind of love the technology. I've grown up with it. I've kind of uh, been, been doing this for quite some time. And as a trainer, kind of day to day, most of my weeks are kind of filled with training activities. If not, I'm doing consulting. And when I don't have either of those to kind of occupy my time, I think of new things I can do. And one of those new things has been the studio setup for YouTubing. I've got a, a fantastic new studio here. And what I'm going to do is actually go and turn on the back camera and give you a little bit of a view to that. So bear with me a sec while I just turn on the back camera and just switch over then to that camera, make sure that's going to come up. Excellent. And let me kind of do a switch over to that camera and do a live. And this is the YouTube studio or the kind of training YouTube studio. So we've got a lot of great equipment in here and I'm kind of obviously a little bit further away from the camera when I kind of just uh, microphone when I just moved over there. So hopefully you can hear me nice and crisp. If you've got anything you want to chat about, please put it in the chat window. I'm trying to figure out kind of how to get the track control working. So this will be the first time we will see if we set it up correctly. If not, I have to have a few more plays with it to get it working. But tonight and in this session, we're going to cover the AI 900 which is the new fundamentals certification. So let me go and kind of show you that. Let me switch back to my view here, switch over. And I'm also gonna bring my desktop over. So let me kind of just uh, do a bit of a move on that as well. So I mean, let me just cut across. And hopefully uh, a wrong one, actually go the red one. And we're gonna get the right screen come up. So I'm just gonna minimize the screen now and take us to the Microsoft Certified Azure Fundamentals course. This is the AI 900. So for those who, uh, sorry, that's the Azure Fundamentals. I want to go to the AI 900. Let me just type in. I'm so used to typing in AZ 900. It becomes a bit of a habit. So we have this new AI for Artificial Intelligence 900. And this Fundamentals certification is part of a new set of role-based certifications that have just come out recently from Microsoft. Now this one here, it's all about giving you the foundation level in the AI technologies and workloads. I've been doing some work groups, uh, workshops recently with the Microsoft Reactor Group. I'm gonna show you some assets from that and some workshops so you can go and download the material. And I believe there's also some recordings from previous weeks. I've just done four weeks for the uh, London Reactor Group and four weeks for Tel Aviv. Some of those were recording. I'm not sure if I can remember which ones were recording, which ones weren't. But if there are recordings, then you'll be able to click on that link and actually replay back. And these were two hour workshops. I do have some other assets to show with you. And I will be during the course of August, September, moving forward into further months, be doing different courses and having a focus. So actually next month, my kind of first month really kind of I'm focusing on a certain certification called the DA100, which is the new Power BI role-based certification. But I'm going to mix into that month as well some AI fundamentals and also the DP data fundamentals, the DP900 and the AI900, and kind of put those both together as well. Um, I'm just going to uh, just check my uh, social chat and see if that's kind of up and running. Um, can't see anything on there, but maybe it's just me not seeing the, uh, the screen there. So let me just have a quick check at the social window and view the cube. Nothing there at the moment, but uh, I'll check back and see if we have that there for us to look at in a bit. Okay, so let's go and talk about the AI 900 a little bit. So let's go look at the certification track to start with so we can actually understand what we have here and how this fits into the overall certification track. 
okay so let's go and look at the certifications click on overview and in here you'll see we've got a breakdown of the different certifications based on the type of role so here we're seeing a role for the developer for the administrator for the solutions architect the data engineer the data scientist and ai engineer you'll notice those are pretty much uh, in a different color because those are the ones i go to all the time because i'm teaching those courses constantly so let's go look at the ai engineer because this is kind of where we need to sit in order kind of to understand the ai fundamentals and how then it also kind of continues into the ai engineer associate certification so there's our azure fundamentals they haven't updated it yet to actually showcase the ai fundamentals it's that new it's just come out it's not been out for very long but we can go to the certifications track go down to browse certifications and in here we can actually type in the ai 900 and we do get the exam listed so let's go and click on that and let's go and explore what's inside of this exam now there's also a brand new one day instructor-led course that's been made available and you can kind of sign up for that that will be a paid for course naturally but there is some self learning options as well so i'm going to go through the instructor led material and then i'm going to focus today on the self learning that's in the microsoft learn and also some other resources i can kind of push in your direction for you to watch as well so let's go look, look down a bit further and we can see that we have the skills measured and we understand how the exam is going to be focused on certain parts of the kind of you know the skills that are being measured so we've got a 15 to 25 percent sorry 15 to 20 percent for ai workloads and considerations so when you take the exam if you are going to do that 15 to 20 percent of all the questions will be focused on that side that specific category there's a larger category called uh, 30 35 percent which is the fundamental principles of machine learning on azure we have features of computer vision we have the nlp the natural language processing workloads and then we've got some conversational ai the chatbots of the world and we can also use look at things like virtual assistant for that as well so we've got some percentages if you want to look at a bit more detail there's a link just below that and you can click on that and that gives us a drop down of a kind of word or pdf document that we can go in and see not only the main category but we can also see the subcategories so there's a few subcategories like this one is identify features and then inside of that we've got the kind of tasks that you'll be associating with that so let me kind of make that a little bit larger so we can focus in on what we're seeing here so you may want to identify conversational ai workloads and that's going to be something that you're going to want to maybe then have do i understand that how do i go about creating this uh conversational ai workload if you need to understand that we're going to look at the microsoft learn and also the instructional course that's available uh, that we can kind of book as well so we go back through look at some of the other topics subcategories and tasks we'll be able to understand the scope of this specific certification but the funds in actually building ai not kind of reading stuff off a script here in terms of kind of what's covered so let's kind of uh, go back you can obviously go to that link and then download that and you just need to search for the AI 900. I will put some descriptions uh, inside of the replay. So I'll kind of tell you where some of this material is. And if you sign up for and subscribe for our service as well, you'll be able to, let me kind of just actually see if I can get that working. I do have, I kind of been trying to set this up. I'm not sure I kind of got it working yet. So let me kind of put it up there and see if I can kind of get this working. Um, I thought I had subscribed working, but maybe not so much okay i'll see if i can get that working later um but if you want to subscribe to us then you can do that for so let's kind of do, oh i need to put play on it that's why i wasn't getting the uh, the activity let me try that now so if you want to see more about the data channel data plus train channel and subscribe to new chat new uh videos as they get launched please do subscribe to us we do appreciate it and we we'll tell you more about stuff as we go so let's go and actually look at what's in the ways to prepare for this so as we said earlier there's instructor led let me just have a, a couple of moments of looking at that 
and this is basically just explaining what this specific course is going to kind of be able to give you who uh, is kind of be the target audience for that and who might kind of have that now as a fundamental it's not going to go to massive depth but it probably as a one day might be a great kind of um starting point for your azure learning capabilities if you don't already have some experience but also if you don't want to do a paid for course that's fine we have a plenty of online free material so kind of let me click on the link this uh, one here and show us that we have a number of learning paths inside of the microsoft learn let me just click on the top one and get us started now what you'll see is there's going to be one or two modules that might be in that initial set i'm going to also click the roles here and go to ai engineer and if i click on that role it's going to filter out pretty much all the content inside of the microsoft learn space and kind of puts you at a starting point for that so we've got the ai engineer role we've got instructor courses get certifications and the learning paths and you notice that a couple of hours each maybe um if you go and click into one of those let's kind of do this one here and we can see that we have a number of them uh there modules in involved and what you can do is walk your way through those modules and understand how to do things and you're also going to have potentially things called a sandbox that will flow up and a sandbox essentially is a free microsoft azure environment that gets fully provisioned for you and it gives you the exercises you can walk through the demos the labs that you can do to understand that better so we have a, a lab as part of this one it's currently spinning it up um, i'm going to click activate my lab i'm going to review the permissions just kind of uh, need to be a checkbox to say i'm agreeing to the kind of controls of this we're not spending any money here this is just saying i want to be able to use a resource that microsoft's going to provision for us that will allow us to go and understand and learn about this so it gives a few seconds it will do that and then we can see that we're verifying permissions and that's off and running and obviously we kind of then when it's ready we're seeing that it's creating things like resource groups and it will be doing additional assets assigning roles from permissions that we need and then on the right hand side when we finish we'll have access to the resources and then what we will then have is a set of steps that we can go down and we have a very cute little dog there we're going to create essentially an image of i'm not going to take you through all these steps this is for you to do this is your homework your takeaway but you can see how quick and easy and you can do 10 I need two hands for this 10 sandboxes in one day that's a, a massive amount of kind of uh, resource that's kind of made available to you i never done more than three or four if i've ever done that many so there's some great kind of resources there you will kind of wait for that to spin up and you will then follow the instructions that it's doing with the copy commands and move stuff over and it's it's really really cool i would suggest you check this out these kind of hands-on exercises and steps through the different modules will really kind of put you on the right path to start to understand at least the fundamentals of what we have with ai now of course we can go to a lot more complexity let me just check kind of how we're doing with some of our social uh comments if there is any coming through i don't think i've actually got it set up correctly so uh let me kind of just have a quick look at the other um one there uh so okay so it looks like we're kind of running okay on that um we've got a couple of people online so welcome and, and thank you for joining me i'm i'm glad you're here and hopefully uh you know you'll join future ones in as well so let's go back to where we were i'm going to go uh back to the browse button for now i was going to go down and choose the ai engineer role on the left hand side and i've got an additional set of kind of 46 results here so there's a lot of modules and learning paths that do kind of two different things there learning paths are essentially kind of how you get started and then you can also look at your different levels like advanced beginner and intermediate you can look at your types so module or lean and perf but there is an initial one there that's not specifically for ai and it's called the azure fundamentals and i do recommend if you are new to azure come and spend some time in this there is also the az 900 certification that's aligned to this so microsoft have done a great job of starting to put up some f more fundamental courses. I'm going to, uh, just, I think I'll go and have a look at um, 
the course that I want to show you here. So let me go to the AI 100, which is the kind of one that's been around for a while, which is like the full three day course has a lot of content. Let me pick the English version here. I'm going to go down and you can see there's a ton of different modules in the three day version. We've got something called cognitive services, which is those pre-built AI machine learning algorithms that we don't have to really do too much to. We can kind of start using them and things like vision, text to speech, sentiment analysis. We have lots of capabilities in these. We have the bots so we have the bot framework and we have the ability to look at that data as well and you know kind of do those conversations coming back so you might go into a website and a little pop-up comes in and says you know how can i help sometimes they go a little bit too fast for me they kind of i, I just go to a website and immediately one jumps in my face i go hold your horses i've I'm, i've just come to have a look around so they can be a little bit too fast off the gate sometimes for my personal appearance so that's something maybe to, to consider if you do them yourself but we have the chatbot service we have the additional cognitive services capabilities so we have something called a q a maker that's a question and answer kind of system and what that means simply is we can kind of anticipate some questions find the the closest match to somebody's question and give them an answer or some frequent asked questions maybe are going to be ones that we're going to build off the q a maker we have language understanding intent so we have this lewis system that kind of looks at the way we're phrasing things and how we're doing things and it will kind of understand the meaning and context of that and that's the lewis system so we have that we have enhancement of that we have some additional uh interactions as well so these are some of the things that we can do with the ai 100 but i'm going to go to certifications go to browse certifications i'm going to pick um that certification uh let's see the one i was looking at this afternoon that would have been the we can find it so that was the da100 so i've got a da100 certification if i go into that certification go to the end you'll see this thing that says journey to certification and what we're going to do is start with essentially the kind of journey that will take doing that now this is for the da100 i can change that for a different one which will be the ai100 so i can look at the journey for other certifications as well i will be sharing all of these with the links etc but we can go to the overview and i'm not going to kind of watch that through all the way but essentially just be aware that this is a, this is around and it kind of helps you with what the certifications are around the azure certification track so that this is including the ai 100 the ai 900 the dp 100 and many more around those okay so that's going to show us how we are able to kind of start our journey but you know you probably come to here tonight to kind of get really started with you ai preparation so let's kind of get started with that let's go back and do that and actually before i do that i'm just going to kind of highlight i do have a half day session at a big conference it's the past summit usually held in seattle every year this is going to be this year virtual only obviously naturally due to travel uh, constraints that we all have so i have a two and a half hour designing an azure data science and ai project so taking you through that initial project kind of kickoff deciding the scope of the project what are the elements that we need to do? We will talk about kind of how we do a workshop approach to that. And if you're interested, I will be doing some kind of prep material as I prepare for this session in the next few months. So this is in November, I think uh, November the 10th to the 13th. I think let me just check the dates. Yeah, November the 10th to the 13th. So some one sometime in those three days, I will have my half day, two and a half hour session. But I'm going to do prep for it. Of course, I've got lots of work ahead of me to get this workshop kind of fully finished, designed. There will be a GitHub repository for it. Now, I'm going to kind of do some snippets of information. When I've done the full delivery at Pass Summit, I will make it fully available for everyone. 
and we kind of will have that available for people to see okay but i need to do that after the conference but lead up to that i will kind of do a few kind of you know a few bits and pieces and share that my journey as i get there and then after it's done it will be shared as well for you so let me kind of uh, move a couple of these windows out and i'm going to go to the certification and go to the overview come down to ai engineer and we want to go into the certification guide and we're going to go down to um, the data and ai group okay so i click in here and this is where we can see that we have the new azure fundamentals sorry the click the wrong one um let me do that again okay so we have two new fundamentals the ai fundamentals and the azure data fundamentals so these two certifications and courses so there's a one day course for each the same as it is for the azure fundamentals which is the az900 the ai one is ai900 and the data fundamentals is kind of it yeah dp900 you've got it there's also a dp300 as well um so there's there's getting some more complexity to that there's a dp300 which is this azure data administrator which is the new one in the associate level so we've got the fundamentals level we have the associate level in the expert level we've got some revised versions around the azure solutions architect and some other stuff so i teach some of the other uh, ones as well like the security um the Azure Security Engineer course, all the data ones, the AI ones. And I also do a bunch of workshops for Microsoft. I've just finished a round of eight workshops in July for them. And say some are recorded, I'll hopefully be able to um, make you aware of where the details are once I've had a chat with the team, if we're going to share that uh, online somewhere. It might be on their YouTube channel, I think. That's probably what I'm thinking. So how do we get started? When we look at kind of the learning path, we have one two three four different categories that we are being measured on so we've got core data concepts relational data non-relational data so this is going to be sql server up in this world and this one's going to be our cosmos db so if you're not familiar with one or both of those then there's some more materials in the microsoft learn for you and then we've got the analytics workload now this essentially is probably more like we're going to be using the Azure Machine Learning Service, AMLS. We're going to be using uh, Jupyter or Notebooks, and we're going to be using the Azure ML service, and maybe something like Visual Studio Code to use Python code and use the environments and kind of spin up our, our kind of code to process and create our Azure kind of technology. So we've got some workshops and the workshops i was going to remind you uh i'm just going to go grab the github repository for it so the one that i'm looking for is the github slash microsoft forward slash reactors so it's got an s at the end nice big kind of list there you can see that's the one that we're looking for so we're going to go to that one and we're going to showcase that there's a number of different workshops that these reactor spaces around the world have been doing workshops now i used to do them in person we obviously stopped doing those for a while and i'm now doing them online but in terms of the reactor workshops if i go down and go to the workshop folder we have a number of workshops and the one that we're going to be focusing on for today's session is this artificial intelligence workshop this is the one i've been teaching recently if i click into it you'll have all of the instructions you need to do to build out probably in about uh we did a two-hour session earlier last week um where i did this workshop and it takes about 60 75 minutes to kind of go through the lab in, com in complete and you just follow through the instructions of what it's doing so it gives you a bit of an overview there and what we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, have a look at some of the resources available so you would download the resources and then maybe go to the setup uh command first grab that and follow through and this is really really easy to install because what you need to do is just go and install if your windows install something called chocolate leap it takes a few minutes you download that and then all you do is you're going to issue this command and that's going to install python 3 git and visual studio code 
with everything we need now once we've done that we will have sort of a couple more steps to do and we're going to clone the repository from the reactor github and we're going to go into the ai folder and we're going to be able to use the resources in there so i did a workshop on this um and essentially we go to the end of this right down to the bottom you'll see obtaining the starter site you come in here and you just follow the git repository clone so we take that and we basically run that we then navigate to the starter site by the way this doesn't actually work because they've changed the folder layout and they haven't got round to updating this yet so literally as we were doing some stuff last week it kind of got changed so there is a kind of cd which is change directory you need to navigate to the end folder being starter site just be aware and i'm sure this will be changed at some point you're then going to spin up an environment you're then going to run this install which is going to look at the requirements text file get a list of all the components it needs to run and then it's going to install everything and then you'll have some additional files you're going to need to iterate through so i'm not going to go through all of these because i've just done this recently but then the last step really is you're going to run set flask emv development flask run and that sets up your website and essentially you will have the local website running and then you'll be able to kind of walk into the next stage and you know follow through the instructions here so we did this last week it was really easy to do and you know go and have a look so the main site you need to go to is the reactors main page and you'll need to go and get the code and you can either clone it locally or just grab a zip file and download it and off you go lots of lots of instructions inside of those files as well okay so let's go back to looking at the dp900 uh that was sorry the dp900 i want to go back to the uh let me go back to the the avon so go to the ai fundamentals so i just need to change this at, at the top one sec so this is currently the ai engineer we've got the azure engineer one then and then we're going to look at the ai 100 and in here this is where we have our journey to certification for the azure engineer and that's where our ai 100 is but we do have um some additional stuff that will be added in shortly but there is some additional resources as well um, let me so move over in the machine learning crash course and the ai business school so if you're looking to kind of go beyond the fundamentals come and have a look at the ai business school come and look at the machine learning crash course and these will kind of be able to take you through some of the fundamentals that you'll need to learn like a little bit of python understand the models and finally what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick peek into portal.azure which is the main entry point for the azure environment that's going to click in on one of my accounts here and just a moment later cool We've got one that's just about to expire i'm going to use a resource group and what i will do is i would normally come and add in a resource group so let me just create one called uh, let's do that here and called ai 900 so that's ai 900 and rg at the end and i'm going to just leave it uh i'm just going to actually move it sorry to the west europe i kind of always pretty much put my stuff in west europe these days um that's done and then what i would want to do is create something called an azure machine learning service so i'm just going to type machine learning here and in there i'm going to now go on to kind of create this machine learning service now this will take a moment or two to set up let me just kind of give it a name amls your machine learning service ai 900 and i'm going to put neil just so i kind of know his and i'm just going to move that also to the uh west europe i'm going to change it to enterprise because there's a couple of things in here i want to show you that require the enterprise feature one is called the um auto ml so that's a great way of kind of getting started with automel getting your machine learning project started and we also have something called De designer which is kind of some kind of user free uh, kind of code free user design implementation so let's kind of start that off just check everything kind of see if we uh got it running and what time we're on excellent we're doing well so i'm not sure if you were expecting this kind of format for this session i'm just kind of trying to kind of get familiar with my youtube 
this is kind of my third one I've done um, so the first one was the live stream second one was a video this one's another live stream I've got a ton of videos on live streams to happen in August get to the end of August I'll be like I've got this I know what it's I'm doing right now still trying to figure it out where I'm gonna put stuff on the screens how I do things like my chat window so if you are watching and interested maybe it's kind of just a hi in the chat window I want to see if that thing's working all I can see is my chats so I don't get that feedback to me because it's kind of um, annoying for me to see my own chats come back so say chat hi in the window if you're paying attention if not we will soon find out right I forgot to create click create which is a, a rookie mistake but I've done that a few times now this takes a moment or two to spin up so while it's doing that let's go and look at some other resources we have available so I'm going to uh, bring up the if I can find it uh, come back to this one now okay cool so I'm going to go back to the reactor space for a while and I'm going to go back and go into the Microsoft space and there's Microsoft learning as well that i want to show you um now what it is it's a navigate repository there's a good 300 of them here but if i tape in let's say i kind of start with the uh, ai 100 because i know that exists and i can see the course that's aligned all the files and exercises that are with that so that's cool i can click in there and get more information and actually you'll see there's a bunch of labs there's a whole bunch of different kind of uh labs that we do in that certification let me go back and see if we have one for the ai 900 i've not tested this i love doing things live for the first time unfortunately not and i didn't expect it to be it hasn't really come out yet it's kind of in that froze of coming out so we haven't got one there let's try the dp 900 let's see if that one is made in appearance yet so dp 900 hasn't dp 200 will be there which is the data engineer one there's a 201 so this is where you will come so just be aware that kind of it's the Microsoft learning we're gonna scroll in a little bit so you can actually see it so it's the github forward slash Microsoft learning as one word if you go there and you're able to search for the code and then when it does become available when they have uploaded it and made available on there then it will be available for you to also look at so this is a great way of kind of come in and find out what's what's happening and what's new out there but let's say right now it's kind of not got all the new ones right out there and that's not surprised they've literally just come out of the kind of uh the gate this month in terms of being available so we're going to wait for maybe a few weeks before we see them on this uh microsoft learning so that's available that's ready let me go to my resource and this is the Azure Machine Learning Studio. I'm just going to launch this, come in and just show you a little bit of a state, just a few minutes of a, a kind of real estate tour of the ML Studio. And if I click on the link, it's going to open a new browser. It's going to open up the ml.azure.com and it's going to have a bunch of other stuff and that's going to be my subscription and my login ID, etc. But notice what we have. We have Welcome to the Studio and we have a bunch of materials we have our designer which we're going to look at very briefly we've also got the automail i'm going to kick off a project i won't finish that but i'm just going to show you how quick we can do that and we have a bunch of, bunch of notebooks and you can go and start your projects very easily um, so this is kind of where we will start we have a bunch of sample notebooks we can clone as well so some python and r i'm just going to clone all the python ones very quickly we click on the, the button clone and it's going to put it into my directory that's fine that will clone those notebooks and when they're cloned i can open those and then i can run those notebooks so some great examples in there let me hide that we're going to go into the automated ml and i'm going to start by creating a compute now i'm not expecting you guys to do this uh, but if you were coming in to use a uh, machine you'll need to um it looks like something failed i'm going to click on create which is the first time it's ever failed but i'm just going to create a one called compute zero one because I love naming things, you know, zero one, zero two. So don't do that. Make sure it's a bit more kind of. But for, this is a quick example. That's perfect. It already exists. I forgot to uh, probably remove it. So let me just do um, AI nine hundred zero one. That I don't think exists. And I've got the size in. I've got the type. I've got GPU, CPU. I've got a whole bunch of. Uh, ways of doing things i can even see the kind of cost that these things are costing so i can go up to a very large um 
I can't, I don't have the quota, but I can go up to, I think, 128 processors, which would cost me a significant amount of money per, per kind of, uh, per day. But we'll go with a very small one, um, a four core, and click create, and it's going to create that resource for us. While it's doing that, I'm going to also jump over to the compute clusters. I'm going to do this thing. Now, this is a single VM we just did. This one is multiple VMs, i.e. nodes. I'm going to do one node minimum, two nodes max, give it a name. I'm going to call this cluster AI 900-01. Everything else the same. And say, leave the size, size the same as well. Go. Now, why it's building those clusters and it's building that kind of compute is spinning up some kind of resources for me. I'm going to go and grab a data set. And there's something called the open data sets that now exists. So let me go to data sets here. I'm going to click on um, create new data set and I'm going to choose the open data set option right down at the bottom. Click on that. And in here, if I can just move the cursor around a bit, I've got a whole bunch of kind of open data sets from the Microsoft uh, open data sets domain. I'm going to choose uh, this example here, diabetes. Let me zone out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing with my next button. Give it a name. So diabetes, this is where you find I have absolutely no typing skills whatsoever <laughs> i'll put that out there i don't have any typing skills um so there's my data set and i'm going to uh click on that i could go and explore that and see that uh, data set it's going to read that file in it's going to show me some data i'm going to also be able to kind of um, um look at that and pr look at the profile of that data and see more information about that data and I could run a machine learning experiment. Now, how, how does this apply to the AI the stuff we're doing? So what we could do is we could take this data set and we could apply this data set through one of the cognitive services. And for example, I could be looking to do some analysis on the data. I could have some text inside of some of this data and I wanna do sentiment analysis. I wanna do a review of my tweets and see how well the hashtags are being performed. Lots of examples. Some of those uh, are explained in some of the reactor spaces that we looked at. So that's gonna be something you might want to spend some time in. So I'll come back and just try and set off my auto melt. I'm gonna try and hopefully, fingers crossed, that the compute doesn't take a long time to spin up. But let me click on auto melt very briefly. I'm gonna use the diabetes data set that I just provisioned. I'm gonna click next. Now, this is where we get to choose the compute they're going to run on, and it's going to read in that data set. We need to create a new experiment. So I've got some excellent naming uh, skills here. Experiment diabetes. Uh, so yeah, I'm not the best at kind of naming stuff. Um, and I'll call it Neil. And I'm going to have a target column. In this case, it's a yes or no. So we want the Y column here. And the compute. I'm going to pick that compute, click next. And this is the cool bit. This is the bit I really, really enjoy. What type of task do I want to do? Classification. Okay, so that's currently checked. What about regression? Well, we could we could change to a regression type, or we can also look at doing a time series. Now, clearly the data we have in the diabetes data one is a classification type. So I'm going to choose that, leave that. I leave the deep learning off, click finish, done. The auto ML has now up and running. Now it will take three, four minutes for this thing to kind of start, prepare, finish its preparations and then start running through the models. All I will do is I'm going to be doing a review tomorrow, another live stream, just to kind of get myself in the field for everything. And I'm gonna come and review this. So, you know, come back and look at how this experiment ran and I'll be able to do a review and go through some of the contents for that. Okay, so I'm kind of looking at where we are time-wise. This is kind of roughly where I would like to kind of get to in terms of today's session. Um, so I'm just gonna start wrapping this one up and I know that's when you all disappear out the window. Um, my final kind of uh, comment to you guys, if you like what you see, let me know, comments, or some you kind of leave them afterwards. If you don't like what you see, let me know as well. That would be awesome. I want to have some comments about that. So hopefully we uh, try and get my um, this working this time. So run that and I'm going to cut that one over. 
so please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, let me just run that again because it didn't uh i didn't cut it quick enough there we go and i'll put that one back in the rain window so let me kind of just end up with putting myself into the frame and cutting over I thank you for joining today it's been awesome to have you come if you are seeing this as a repeat where were you come on no there's so every 8 30 or 20 30 every day tomorrow saturday sunday and all the way through august i'm going to be going live on my channel talking about certifications doing some demos we will have some discussions i'll get this chat window thing working i will be here for your questions and your training requirements and hopefully kind of help you build up your knowledge and say for the da 100 i'm doing a first upload of a video every monday wednesday and friday every week for four months that's 13 videos a month 52 videos in total that's about the da 100 i will throw some other videos into the mix as well and in september i'm looking to do maybe the ai certification so the ai 100 ai 900 i need to confirm that that's what we're going to do but i'm pretty much uh, ready i think to to pull the plug on securing those into my calendar and that will be the next one and say this is off and running it's not done all the work yet but it it will have some models and some information and tomorrow i'm going to come back and review this and give you some more information to share well look that is it for me for today it's been a pleasure we will see you in the next video. Remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.